In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix faster with a mouse or trackpad in Reaper. Now this video is mostly for people using a mouse or a trackpad to mix, as it won't apply much if you're using a control surface. So I have a project in front of me here that I want to mix. I have some drums, kick, snare, overheads, and rooms, a bass, a couple guitars, and a wah guitar. Let's see what it sounds like now. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, I want to mix this pretty quickly, and I found a faster way to do it using one track at a time. So if we open the mixer right now, Control M on the PC, Command M on the Mac, we can see all our faders right here for our drums, bass, guitars, and wah guitar, and my effects are up here. But to give me more throw or more room to adjust the fader, like this, I like to hide my effects and my sends. Holding control on the PC, command on the Mac to bring it up, giving us more room to adjust the faders like this with a mouse or trackpad. And to make it easier to see my effects, I'll show them in the track control panel. Go up here to options and choose show effects inserts in track control panel. And they show up right here as long as the track's height is big enough. So I can adjust my compressor on my kick, or my snare, or my EQ, or go to my bass and adjust the EQ there, and so on. So I don't need to do this in the mixer. That's why I hit it in here. But you also notice when you open the mixer, we still have to search what track we want to adjust. So if I'm listening back and I want to readjust my bass level, if I open the mixer, I still have to search for it over here, which can take a few seconds or even longer if you're dealing with a very big project. So I prefer to do, as I mentioned before, is do it one track at a time. So instead of keeping the mixer big like this, we can go over here and right click and choose to dock the mixer in the docker, which is usually gonna put the mixer down here. But what I like to do is go to the tab and grab it and drag it to the left side of the screen. And now it shows up over here. Then we can grab over here and make the size that we see just one track wide. So if I select my kick, we just see the kick. Or my snare, or my overheads, or my rooms. Then we can adjust the fader from here. I want to adjust my bass, select it, and adjust it from here. Or we could select any items on their track, like the kick, and that switches the fader to just seeing and adjusting the kick track. But we still have to move to the left of our screen. Another way we could do it, and my personal favorite, let's drag it back out, go to the tab and drag it over here so it floats and adjust it to just see one track from here. So just seeing one track at a time. And now if I select the kick, we just see the kick or the snare, overheads, or room, bass, or guitar. So now right in the middle of our screen, we could see just one fader at a time, which seems more limiting, but it's a lot quicker when we're in the middle of a mix. We could even hide this by hiding the mixer and working like this. Then if we want to adjust the bass, select it, open the mixer, and now we're just seeing the bass. So we know which fader to grab, a lot quicker. Want to adjust the snare, just do it from here, or the wah guitar, and the fader is right in the middle of our screen, ready to be adjusted without having to search a mixer that looks this big. And to give you an idea how quick this could be, let's start over by selecting all the tracks, bring the faders all down, and let's start over. Make this one track big, so we're just seeing one track at a time. Let's see how quickly we can create a mix. Let's go to our kick, bring it up. 
and our snare, the overheads, and the room. And the bass. Now before we move on to the guitars, notice that one guitar is panned left and the other is panned right. So for this, I like to adjust them together. But let's start with just one and solo it. Then I'll grab the other, solo that one, and match the left and right side. And once I'm happy with that, we can just grab both tracks together as a temporary group and still adjust them with one fader. We can do the same thing with our drums. Just select all the drums and adjust all the drums together. Readjust the bass. Then work on both guitars together while still adjusting it with one fader. And then finally, the wah guitar. Want to adjust all the guitars together, just select them all. Move back to the bass. Notice how much quicker I can grab each fader and know what track I'm adjusting without having to open up the bigger mixer and searching for the fader I want to adjust. And if you still like the bigger mixer, sometimes we could save each way as a screen set. On PC, hit Control E, and on Mac, hit Command E. And that opens up our screen sets. Make sure we choose the Windows tab, then we could save the first one as a one track mixer. Hit save, choose all the variables, name it, and save it. Then we can adjust our mixer to be normal sized and save that as well. We'll save it as screen set two, name it full mixer. And now we can recall it with F7 or F8 or any keyboard shortcut you choose. Hit F7, and we're back to one track at a time. But if we want to see the full mixer, hit F8, and now we have the full mixer. So we're going to adjust each track while seeing all of them. I'll go back to F7 to mix a lot quicker one track at a time. Which, like I said, is a lot faster when you're mixing with a mouse or trackpad in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's how to mix faster with a mouse or trackpad in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
tango, boys. Let's go.